please stand. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you rose from the grave and conquered death. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you sent Mary Magdalene to preach the good news. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will shine forever, the light of your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded to them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Let us 
hearts rejoice in it and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my fingers into the nail marks 
and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. A Protestant minister once told the story about his grandfather who worried a lot. In fact, he had a worry rock which he sat on and in which he had worn a hole with his thumb. Now people who worry are really doubters at heart. Enter Thomas in today's gospel. This is Thomas's big scene in John's gospel. We hear that gospel and we focus on Thomas's doubt. Because of that, we even call someone a doubting Thomas. However, I don't think that's being fair to Thomas. At the beginning of today's gospel, Jesus appeared to the ten apostles who were huddled together out of fear in a locked room. Judas was dead, and Thomas had gone somewhere. That means that Thomas was not living in fear. That's why he wasn't there. When Thomas came back, the other ten told Thomas that they had seen Jesus. Thomas was skeptical because he knew the others were emotionally on shaky ground. When Jesus showed up again, Thomas did not put his finger into Jesus' hand, nor did he put his hand into Jesus' side. Thomas simply said, my Lord and my God. So I want to offer you several practical suggestions for confronting your doubts. Number one, remember your past experiences of God's presence and peace. Number two, Remind yourself that faith and science don't have to be opposites. Faith tells us about the God who created the world. Science tells us about the world God created. And number three, immerse yourself 
in the Christian story. Instead of seeing yourself as an individual with a little bit of Jesus tacked on. Find yourself living between Jesus' resurrection and his final return in glory. When you are facing doubts, can you simply act as if you have faith and believe it will be granted to you? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I, look and I look forward, forward to, the to the resurrection of the dead and the, and the life of the world, world to come. To come. Amen. Amen. Father, we come before you this morning and we present our petitions to you. That the church may continue to grow in charity and faith as she remains a sign of God's merciful love for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the Lord may look favorably upon and provide the resources for the needs of individuals and communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have been separated from God by sin may experience forgiveness and healing through the sacrament of reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us gathered here may be guided by the Holy Spirit in our work to build up the kingdom of God on earth by our words and our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven and see the face of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially for Nelly Geis, Michael Stout, jo Joanne Rollins, Chuck Foster and Eugene Chiricosta, whom we remember in a special way at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the holiness of all those sent in Jesus' name as priests, deacons, and consecrated religious to proclaim the victory over the world 
through faith in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we pray together the beacon prayer, Radiate Christ, found in your worship aid or in the hymnal rack. Mary, Mother of the Church and our Mother, present our prayer of thanksgiving to your Son. Beg from him the grace that we need to be faithful disciples who follow him with enthusiasm and joy. May our witness to the love of God bear fruit in our archdiocese, parishes, homes, and hearts. Teach us to be God's joyful witnesses, to radiate Christ in all we do, so that all people might be known, love, and follow your Son through this life and into the next. Amen. On our preparation song, please use the hymnal. There's more verses in it.
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. slowly pray to our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. A few announcements. Adoration of Blessed Sacrament takes place right after Mass. At uh, benediction at 12 p.m. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy will be sung at the conclusion of Sunday's Mass, so please stay to pray the chaplet if you can. Next week, our parish will take up the Catholic Relief Service Collection. Funds from this collection provide food to the hungry, support displaced refugees, and bring Christ's love and mercy to vulnerable people here and abroad. 
Next week, please give generously to the collection and reveal Christ's love to those most in need. There are baskets at the exit for your donation to our mission church, St. John and St. Elizabeth of Grayson, Kentucky. Joe and Sandra Josephsek will be hosting the vocation chalice this week. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What was your count? That's good. See, that's good. 209. Yeah.
And what are you going to do, Father? You're going to spend the afternoon, the the sun. <laughs> but that's tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So I may be out there with what my head lights on. <laughs> May we begin with the opening prayer. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. 
From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. In reparation for the wound in his right hand. for the wound in his left hand. for the wound in our Lord's right foot.
of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole for the wound in our Lord's left foot.
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.